think I'm actually ready for this week. I'm ready to take it on. It's gonna be a heavy week. Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday. It is 9.39 p.m. Yes, p.m. And I'm starting the vlog now. I didn't wanna to film today. Not gonna lie to you. So I've decided to start the vlog now because I've got a very work heavy week and I wanted to do a, a work vlog because a lot of you have asked and I also like to show the reality sometimes of being crew. Yes, it's definitely glamorous. It's traveling the world. It's trying new food, being in Paris for breakfast, being in Milan for dinner, X, Y, Z. But it's also a lot of sleepless nights little bit of insomnia, a little bit of sleep paralysis. So we're going to show you the both sides of it today. Today we are going to, I don't know where. I'm flying to Kuwait tonight. It's an hour 30 each way. So simple, nothing to complain about. I say that now. Let's speak to you when we get back. Where's the brush that I'm looking for? I hope you're here for it. It's definitely going to be a little bit more work as well as personal i'm gonna just combine the two because this is gonna have a little bit of work content in it it normally gets a lot more eyes in terms of people looking for the job so hello hi if you're new i hope you're here to stick around but little disclaimer for you people who are new i am very strict with the rules that they put in place in terms of social media and what you can and can't post i will not tell you what you're not supposed to hear i will not show you what you're not supposed to see i will not give you information you're not supposed to know about I am very strict of that. I know on the world of the web, there is people who post it. I've seen it. I don't quite know how they're getting away with it, but that's their prerogative. That is their lane. They can stay there. I will stay in my lane. If you wanna go and follow more of them, please do. Please don't ask to see stuff that I don't show you. I show you what I can show you. Hope that's okay. Now the disclaimer's out the way, let's get into the video. So I'm currently getting ready. And I've recently found a little tip for lipstick. This is probably like being out there for years and you all probably know it. But I always used to take the makeup concealer off my lips foundation or whatever. And I've realized if you blend it into your lip, it's a lot easier to get a smoother line with a lip liner. Why did none of you tell me that? Literally, I've been doing red lipstick for coming close to nine years now. And no one decided to tell me to put a bit of foundation on my lips. I definitely feel like I'm back in high school for putting foundation on my lips. It was an era that nobody wants to be part of again. But it helps because it makes it not smudge. You get more of a smooth line. Very niche, but yeah. I'm currently using the Kiko 703 Lip Liner and then the Rimmel 01 Last and Finish Lipstick. It's honestly two things I had in my cupboard, my drawer. I was like, do you know what? Use what I've got before I buy something new. And it's doing wonders for me. Let me just put this on and then we'll carry on because you can't really talk when you put a lip liner on. It doesn't really work. That is not good. Come on, Sophie. You can do lipstick. that is going to be the best I can do right now. Red lip liner is just not forgiven. You make one wrong line, wrong, one wrong move, you can't fix it. It's just there and you just have to deal with it for the rest of the day. So I'm just going to deal with the little lines that I don't like there and I didn't see it. Are you where I was going today? I don't think I did. I'm going to Kuwait tonight, which is in Kuwait. Yeah, <laughs> that makes no sense. I mean, the, the destination we're flying into is Kuwait, in Kuwait, whatever, so if we carry on. Scheduled to take off at 1.35 and land back at 6.20. Let's see how on time we can be. I'll obviously update you when we land back. Yeah, I'm actually okay with this flight. I did have a sleep before. I proper messed up my timings in my brain, so I didn't have to like get ready and wake up until 9 p.m. But my dumb brain 
got into bed at 3 p.m. being like, oh, I need to wake up at 6. Why? Why did I do that? And then by the time I got into bed, like I'd wind down, it was like 20 past 3. And then that's when my brain was like, hold on. It's way too early. But at that point, I was already like falling asleep. So I was like, I'll just go asleep. I'll sleep as much as I want. And then whenever I wake up, I'll know I'll be refreshed because I'd rather sleep when I'm sleepy than fight it to when I should sleep and then not be able to sleep. One of the things I worked out about my body and sleep. So I ended up having like three hours. I was very happy. I woke up about half six. I read a chapter of my book. I've edited like 90% of the vlog that needs to go up on Wednesday or Sunday. I think it's Wednesday's vlog. And then we're here. Now we're ready to go. I'm actually doing okay. The flight is obviously one hour 40, one hour 30, whatever it'll be. And it's insanely short for the service we do. We do give out food on these short flights, even when we used to fly to Doha. On a good day, you're looking at 40 minutes, but when that wind was pushing you along, you're looking at like 20 minutes, 25 minute flight up and down. And we used to give out food, I can't lie. It was light, because when I, we used to fly there, we don't fly there anymore, I was in economy, and I don't know how to explain it. You're pushing this cart, which is probably three times my body weight, up a hill, because you get released when you're still climbing, because you don't really level off, you just go up and down. Up to the front of the plane of economy, whatever, and you're literally throwing this food out to people. Because they obviously are entitled to the food, they paid for the food, they paid for the flight, and they deserve it but it was insane and now this is very similar to that because the service is a little bit more advanced than that service but it's obviously a lot less than a main service on so like a seven hour flight this is kind of weird to explain i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so it's my first short short flight in first class so i'm interested to see how it goes it's not full like full full but there's definitely a lot more people than i would have liked just for my first super short flight but i'll let you know how it goes i'll be fine it's in the middle of the night surely people don't want to eat in the middle of the night but you never know i am gonna finish up packing my bag i've only got to take my cabin bag and we are gonna head to the airport and when i say airport i mean our headquarters we don't go to the airport you know this by now we've been here this is an office rodeo Tuesday. I realised I never actually spoke to you when I got home this morning and now it's like half four in the afternoon and I've done a lot. I've actually done a lot. Are we ready to deep dive into what happened? Quick debrief of the flight. It was fine. Nothing happened. I served people food. It was a very easy service. They got on, they ate, they got off. It was one hour 20 going, one hour 15 on the way back. It was super short. I've actually got my skincare headband in right now. Don't judge, I've just washed my hair because it was bad. It was very bad. And then after the flight, if you watched my last video where I said, oh, I need to go and get a new ID, blah, blah, blah. I decided, I don't know why I didn't realize this, but even when I was filming it, I was like, today's Saturday and it's office hours when I land. So I can go get a new ID. It's Saturday. It's not open. So anyway, I had to go today. So I went when I landed. I got my new ID, all sorted. It's valid for the next three years. We're fine. So then I got home, I want to say around 8 a.m. Got into bed, slept till about 12. Got up, finished my book. Yes, I finished A Court of Thorn and Roses. If you would like to know my thoughts, let me know. I'll tell you. I don't want to put too much reading 
information in these vlogs because then it's just gonna get like pretty boring for you if you're not into that. I do have the next one ready to go, A Court of Mist and Fury, but I'm not allowed to read that until I finish the rest of the day. So I woke up, I finished the book, um, I then went and washed my hair, I've dried it, I've packed my bag because I'm actually flying tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Um, so that's all packed and ready to go and now I just need to sit here and edit a vlog which I'm quite behind on. So that's my plans for this afternoon. I was supposed to be going to Beijing tomorrow, but I swapped it. Some girl wanted to go home. So I was like, you know what? I don't mind. I'll swap it. So I'm actually going to Lisbon tomorrow. Can't lie. I'm very excited to go get some egg tarts. Mm-hmm. It was one of yous. Well, it was a lot of yous that put me on them last time I went. And now I'm just like, ooh, egg tarts. I have packed clothes in case we go out, but in true cruise style you never actually know because they never want to do much i feel very sleepy still don't have to actually wake up until like 3 a.m so i need to have an early night get there i think we land at like 12 so we'll see what happens anyway also i don't know whether i should tell you but i'm gonna tell you i got a gift on the flight from a passenger i got some like little perfumes all the first class crew, I say all of us, there was two of us, and the person got a little gift from one of our passengers because he liked the service that we gave. We looked after him and it was a really short flight and he got everything he wanted. He bought us some little gifts. So I now have some little Jo Malone perfumes. I'm quite excited actually. I've never actually tried Jo Malone. I always thought it was very like overhyped. So I've never actually looked into what they like. So I think this is like the perfect little test set i'd say to find out if i like them and if i do i can get an addition for the shelf so yeah how cute is that i'm gonna get on to editing i need to get this sorted for today because it's gonna go up tomorrow as you can tell i'm very behind on filming i also don't have a video to go up on sunday which is the end of this week's vlog spoke to you since I've been here but it's Thursday morning I think it's nearly 8 a.m and I had the best night's sleep I've had in a hotel in a long time so I'm gonna treat myself and we're gonna go for breakfast <laughs> because I've got quite a bit of time before my wake-up call my wake-up call is not until 10 40 10 30 so I'm gonna go and have some breakfast because did see me over here forgot to pack breakfast i swear i did but i just can't find it in my suitcase or my cabin bag so we're gonna go and get some breakfast instead thought i'd just say hi because i didn't yesterday so we got to the hotel nobody wanted to do anything surprise and i was like okay i just sat here i read some of my book i did some work on my laptop had a little snooze in the afternoon woke up spoke to the fam and then fell asleep actually so i had like a bath and everything and then i fell asleep wasn't planning on it i also just want to address 
I didn't sleep in this. I got into bed to read in my book in this jumper and then I took it off to go to sleep because it does look a bit weird that I wore it last night in bed and now I'm wearing it to go to get breakfast. It's fresh, it's clean, okay? It's just the only jumper that I have and I wanna be warm. I'm gonna go grab some breakfast. I've got my AirPods. I'm debating to take my book with me, but I think that might be a bit overkill. So I might not. And yeah, I haven't had hotel breakfast in so long. I think the last time I had hotel breakfast was when I was away in January and we had breakfast like every day in the hotel, but I never do it. I never have breakfast on my layovers or hotel breakfast, should I say. The only time sometimes is when I'm in America because I've either got plans for the day or I'm awake. And since I'm awake, I thought I might as well go because I'm gonna get hungry. breakfast was okay we'll just stay okay if you know you know I'm not a massive fan of like buffet food I know that's like really weird to say but it's never like hot so that's the only downside about a buffet breakfast is the food's never hot hot but then after breakfast I decided to go for a little wonder and find the crew lounge let me get my slippers always carry slippers and layovers and um, yeah so I went and found the crew lounge because some hotels they do give us like a room with like tea and coffee facilities with water stuff like that and I never normally go because I just don't ever see the point in going but I was like you know what I'm gonna go find it since I'm like wandering around the hotel so I went and got myself a little coffee and then I also picked up a Pepsi Zero so I can have a little breakfast drink breakfast I'm going off to buy time it's what 12 40 p.m. in Dubai so I'm okay to drink Pepsi right now. Breakfast was fine. I've got a couple of hours until I need to start getting ready. So I'm just gonna sit here, do some work on my laptop and enjoy the rest of my little lazy morning. The flight back is not too full, but it's gonna be a long one. I never realized, I don't know why I never realized, eight hours it takes to get here from Dubai. I always thought it was like Europe, like six and a half, but now it's past the UK. Never realized that. You think I would after how long doing this job? Anyway, see you when I'm getting ready. <laughs> Oh, I never knew that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Hello, happy Friday. We are slowly getting to the end of this very heavy work week. Work update. I was landing this morning around one and we ended up being, I think it was like 20 or 30 minutes late we landed. So we didn't get home until later, which was obviously not ideal. So by the time I got home, I was out to the world. I was sleeping in my land of Z's. I didn't even read my book. That's how much I just wanted to sleep. Today is technically a work day because I landed this morning today. So I'm just gonna sit here. I've got some editing to do. I've gotta make some documents for social media that I've been putting off for a very long time. But I'm gonna sit here and do it because I've got nothing else planned today apart from this. To sit here at this desk and do work. It's literally everything that I've been putting off that I just don't want to do. So I'm going to do it. And then I've also got to update my UAE ID stuff with the work system that we have. Do you know I also have an update as well, which is like not related to work, just related to me in general. If you watched my evening routine, I'll leave it linked below if you didn't. And I told you the story about me trying to find these books that I'm reading at the minute and I can't find them in Dubai. And I couldn't find them on the Dubai Amazon, well the UAE's Amazon 
They had them on the UK and they had them on the American Amazon. I don't have any UK flights coming up. And I was like, do you know what? I do have a US at some point this month. Let me see if I can get them delivered to the hotel. So I called up the hotel, which was a strange experience because it was like the middle of the night. This wasn't yesterday, this was like day four or the day before that, I can't remember. So it was like 2 a.m. in Dubai and I rang up this hotel. I was like, oh, do you accept parcels on behalf of crew? I can get them delivered, but I'm not gonna be there until a few days after they get delivered. They were like, yeah, that's fine, not a problem. We'll keep it for two weeks. I was like, that's fine because I'm definitely gonna be there within the week of it being delivered. And then God forbid something happens, I'll just arrange a return. So I've got the five books that I wanted in hardback being shipped to a hotel somewhere in the land of the United States of America, which I will get my hands on at some point in March. I pray to every book god that is out there that they pack that parcel good. <laughs> because I don't want to get there and the books to be destroyed because they've been shipped. And then there's also, a, this is like, again, why am I talking about books? I read a few comments and I've replied to a few comments as to why I want these specific books. So I've not even said, I'm reading Akatar. I'm on the second one at the minute. I've started reading that this week. And I want the hardback books but I wanna buy them individually. I don't wanna buy the box set because there is a method to my madness. It's been released that there's gonna be another book in the series, which is fine. I'm happy, more books for me to read. If you buy the, the, the box set, the hardback covers of the books themselves are black. If you buy the books individually, the hardback covers of the book is colored to match the color of the book. I said I color a lot then. I'll be able to show you more when I actually get my hands on these books. So anyway, I didn't want to have to buy the box set where all the books are going to be black inside. And then when this new book comes out, it's 99% going to be coloured. So I wanted to buy the coloured books so that when I get the new book, when that comes out, it's coloured. Very unnecessary stress on me to find books. But if all works to plan, they are going to get shipped and they are gonna wait in the hotel and they will be there when I arrive at some point in the US this month. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can get them delivered to the UK, but unfortunately, I'm not going to the UK at any point this month. Roster reveal there for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a UK flight. To update on the book because I read a few comments, just look on Amazon, I was like, do you, do you think I didn't try that? You think that wasn't my first point of call when I wanted to buy these books originally, maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago? I tried that. I also went to five bookshops in one day to try find the books. I've tried many websites, but they don't have hardbacks. So that is why it is such an ordeal trying to find these books, because I want the hardback books that are individually packaged and not the box set. Update done. <laughs> I don't really have much to update you on apart from work. I'm off today, well, work day off today. Tomorrow is obviously Saturday and I'm off. I've got a day off and then I'm flying on Sunday. Where am I going on Sunday? I have a turnaround on Sunday. This is a heavy work week. This is probably my heaviest work week all month. I'm looking at my calendar. I can see my flights and you don't know what they are. <laughs> I really honestly do miss my roster reveals, but I feel a lot more safer. That sounds like so dramatic. Not sharing my roster and when I do share where I am, 90% of the time, it's not exactly when I took the picture. I'm in the country, but it might not be when I took it. Just being safe. The internet's a weird place. I've got nothing else to fill you in on. I'm gonna sit here and do some work because I'm procrastinating. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go to work today. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Yes, I completely skipped out Saturday. I was gonna film and then I just didn't. So, my bad. <laughs> it's been a pretty heavy work week and I think I was just over it. I wanted to spend the day reading my book, cleaning up, doing some work on my laptop, 
and just hibernating from the world, which is exactly what I did. So I'm not sorry about it. Today is Sunday, which is the end of the week, which is also my last flight of the week. I've got one more flight to do this week and it's a turnaround. We're going to India, we're going to Bangalore and it's gonna be around three hours there, four hours back. What? Why is it so long on the way back? Do you know what's mental, right? This is another thing that you need to think of, right? So I have to be at work at 11 o'clock, give or take, 11 a.m. And I land back at 11 p.m. The flight is three hours one way, four hours back. That's seven hours. So where are the rest of the hours coming from? I know where they're coming from. You have to be there before work, two hours earlier. You have time on ground when you're there, which is approximately just under two hours. And then you land at 11 p.m. and then you're probably there for another 45-ish minutes on board, depending on how fast people get off and X, Y, Z. Then you gotta get home. So I'm probably gonna get home around 1 a.m. for a seven hour day. So just think about that. That's one of the things that you don't really realize when you want to do this job, is that the flight time is the flight time. It's like when you go to the airport, you have to go to the airport like two, three hours before. Same with crew, but you have different reasons to be there. Anyway, we did a turnaround at the beginning of the week. What? Put that down. It's my watch strap, by the way, if you're wondering what that is. We did a turnaround at the beginning of the week, so it is exactly the same procedure. Just take my cabin bag, go there, come back, land, be in my own bed at some point in the next 14 hours. Inshallah. I'm not obviously going to take yours with me because I started editing this video and it is pretty long, I'm not going to lie to you. But I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a bit different. Don't know if I'm going to do much of them because they take all the energy out of me. It's bad enough trying to like fly when it's one of these type of weeks and then film at the same time. You think it doesn't take your energy, it does. Anyway, I'm not complaining. If you have enjoyed the video, do give it a like and subscribe. Also, sorry there wasn't an upload on Sunday, just being. Uh, so that's today. I don't have a video going up. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Completely forgot. And by the time I realised, it was too late. So we're just going uploadless. There's plenty of stuff on the channel you can go check out. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed. Do give it a like and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. I'm back. I did say bye, but I'm back. Because I have a little bit of an update on life. Today, well, yesterday, today technically Monday now but on Sunday when my flight was I had my first ever drug and alcohol test with work <laughs> it was so strange I've never had one I don't know why I don't, I don't know if that's a question you ask but I've just never been pulled for a random drug and alcohol test and I got pulled today so I had to go into this like little room with a guy sounds a bit strange go into a little room with a doctor Nurse, don't really know what he was. Read loads of forms and stuff. I had to tell him if I took any medicine in the last seven days, what I'd ate and drank in the last couple of hours. I had to do a urine test and a breath test. Yeah, obviously I passed. I went to my flight, obviously. Clear, negative. Don't know how you, you say I wasn't positive, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd just let you know. I thought that was a, a a strange note to end the video on, but I wanted to let you know and document it. If you did see this clip, comment below the little medicine pill. And then I'll know you're the real ones that made it to the very end of the video. And you waited for the end credit before you clicked off the video. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Do give it a like and subscribe. And I am going straight to bed. Good night. Who do you pray?